Hi everybody. So for part two, we're going to be looking at how we're going to be using Cengage now throughout the semester. Um, I mentioned in the part one video that some of your assignments, uh, you'll have two due on the same day, and one is called a lecture assignment and one's called a homework assignment. So since this is a full face-to-face -face class and you don't have any of that face-to-face -face instruction, I've broken up these assignments into lecture assignments and homework assignments. The lecture assignments will be videos that you will watch that will give you an overview about different topics and concepts in the chapter. So for example, this one, there is four different videos that you'll watch. The first three are what we call tell me more videos. And each one of the tell me more videos is broken down by learning objective that corresponds to the learning objectives in your textbook. So for lecture assignment part one, I have the first three learning objectives that you'll watch videos on, and then the, lecture, the chapter four homework assignment part one, you will be practicing learning objectives one through three, so that it gives you, again, a little bit of that instruction, and then you'll be able to actually apply it during the homework assignments. So to get to the videos, you simply click on the learning objective, and it will open the for you. The learning objective of this section. The learning objective And of it this will section. walk you through a certain learning objective. When you're doing the lecture assignments, you do have to fully watch each one of the videos. So if you just take this and drag it halfway through and watch just the last few minutes or whatever the case is, or if you just open it up, close it out, and answer the questions, the system recognizes the fact that you haven't actually done the assignment and it will lock you out of going on to the homework assignment. So please make sure you're watching these videos. And again, these videos are very beneficial. Sometimes I'll put in what we call an AA, an animated activity, and you can click on the link to watch that video. It kind of gives you, again, this overview of what's going on in the chapter. Once you watch the lecture assignment, the homework assignment will then become available to you. So when you get into the homework assignment, there's a few things in here that I like to point out. First of all, there's usually more than one question. So remember, you can do the first three or four questions, scroll down here and hit save and exit. That saves what you've done and allows you to come back and continue working on the assignment at a later time. You can submit your assignment for grading once you've answered all those questions. It does give you a warning if you click on this. Are you sure you want to do this? If you forgot and hit that one by accident, just do continue taking um, that take. You can check your work, and when they tell you how many you can check, that's per question. So you have, in this case, three checks per question in this assignment set. You can also email the instructor. So you click on this, and it will actually take a screenshot of the question that you're working on, and it will give you an email box where you can actually email me a question. So you can say, Professor Quinn, I'm very stuck on part two. Can you help me? And it will send to me. When I respond to your email, it will go to whatever email address you have registered with Cengage Now. So whatever email address you log into Cengage Now with is where it will get returned to. If you haven't heard from me for a day or so, go into your spam folder and double check. Sometimes it kicks it into your spam folder because it doesn't recognize Cengage Now. So always just double check on that. Also remember, if you have saved your progress, that is perfectly fine, but make sure you go in and hit that submit button before the due date and time so that you get credit for the assignment. Up here, you'll see that there's different tabs that you can use. You can also minimize the side screen to make this part bigger, and you can move things around so you can see where there's different things to have here so you can see everything at once. There's the link to the ebook right here. There's also show me how videos for several um, of these examples that you have to do for homework. And what this is, is a video that will show you how to solve a problem that's very similar In to this the course one that you have to we will learn how to prepare a So again, it's gonna walk you through stone, we will learn how, to prepare a contribution. how to do, in this case, a contribution margin income statement. So that's a great resource for you that's embedded right in there. And again, you can just click through each one of these questions. You'll see that a lot of them have the show me how. And again, I have broken up your homework assignments to make them kind of into smaller chunks of each chapter where you're watching some videos and those lecture assignments about some learning objectives and then practicing them in that homework assignment.
You will also find, and I'll switch to the student view so you can see this, under this link where it says assignments I can practice now, for every chapter that we will be covering this semester, you will have a practice set. Um, and that practice set is not graded, it's purely for your benefit to help you practice the material. And the questions that are in there are all algorithmic, which means that every time you take that assignment over again, every single question in that practice set will populate with new numbers. So if there was just two, thing, two questions that you're really getting stuck on, you can practice those two questions, submit it for grading, view what you did right and wrong, and go back and practice it again, and you'll have new numbers every time you do that. As soon as you do submit an assignment for grading, you can view the assignment results right away or you can review them at a later date. So let's say I reviewed this, I'm submitting it for grading. Right here you can view assignment results and once you click on view assignment results it will bring open that assignment again and it will show you what answers you entered and it will also show you the correct answers and usually has a lot of feedback as well of how to arrive at those correct answers. So it's a great way for you to learn from that process. I want you to be able to learn from your homework about what you might be doing correctly and what you're doing incorrectly so that you can learn that to go forward um, when you get to your quizzes and tests. You can also view the assignment results for any assignment by going to your grades. You have a grade tab at the top and clicking on your grade for a submitted homework assignment and that will open that up again for you as well. Under study tools, you can find the ebook and also the study tools and adaptive study plan. So the study tools, there's a lot of study tools built into Cengage now to help you. So you simply click on a chapter And once you click on it, it will give you the flashcards. You can play a crossword puzzle, quiz bowls, kind of like Jeopardy. Um, there's a whole bunch of other printable resources that you can use. But if you click on any one of these learning objectives, you can also find those show me how videos and those tell me more videos. So those show me how videos are the ones that are embedded in some of your homework questions. The tell me more are what is included in your lecture homework assignments. So those are all in here for you as well. Also under the study tools, you can take a quiz. So this quiz is again nothing that I look at, but it's a quiz to challenge yourself to see how well you know the material. At the end it will give you a grade on how well you did per learning objective and it will also give you a personalized study plan of suggestions to help you improve your scores in certain learning objectives. And then you can take a post quiz and see if you've done better after using your um, personalized study plan. For the ebook, if you've never used an ebook before um, or you've used them in the past and haven't liked them, this one's a very interactive ebook. Um, you can actually highlight certain sections of the textbook, you can take notes, you can have the textbook read to you. So there's a lot of things that you can do in this textbook, in this ebook that you have. And it is your cheaper option um, than buying the printed text with the access code. So for example, if you highlight something, you can choose a color to have it highlighted in. You can highlight something and add a note. And it will save that for you right there. You can highlight a certain section. And all direct right labor is paid on an hourly basis. All direct labor is paid on an hourly basis. If you decide, you know what, I'd really rather have a male voice, all you can change it to a male voice. You can all direct labor down. is paid on an hourly basis. All direct labor is paid on an hourly basis. The flashcards for the textbook are in here, so you can quiz yourself before a quiz or a test. You can actually create your own card. You can shuffle the deck. You can flip the card to see what the definition or the term is. If you click on this pen and highlighter, it will actually keep track of everything that you've highlighted and every note that you've taken. So if I wanted to click on this one, I simply click on that blue arrow and it will take me to that page. 
where I've highlighted and where I have a note. So there's a lot of great things you can do in this ebook as well. So please take advantage of some of the wonderful things that are in Cengage now. Um, again, please make sure that when you're doing those lecture video assignments that you're really fully watching the videos, um, otherwise it will lock you out from going forward. You will have your quizzes and tests in here as well. If you have any questions that come up, please get in touch with me. I truly look forward to working with all of you this semester.